top of the game. Okay, good luck. Thanks so much. Be a straight choice in terms of the mid second fastest was the Alex at the end of play. Yes, everybody going medium front, soft rear tyre. Honda's woes continue. It's a measure of how highly all of us think of Pedro Costa this year. I think many already were asking the question. Tina right at the start of the 2023 World Championship. Profile opposition in qualifying one. So GP sprint race round seven of the MotoGP. Passionate Tifosi, all a buzz about the 11 lap flying ahead. You can see that on the grid on the left hand side. Jorge Mar, he's not scored in the last three sprints. A crunch head to head today on Ducati's home soil. The champ get into San Donato first. It really is. You come over that crest and then it plummets downhill and it's stick moves. I think that's the politest way of saying it. Normally someone will throw it up. And Banyaya in third place. Temperatures the hottest they've been all ball with Bastianini alongside him. All Race pace times. Banyaya's got point two on everyone. But that one, Mark Marquez, he said, I've had the best Friday on this Ducati. And he said, yeah, isn't it? It's Ducati's home race. It's the great to see him again, <laughs> by the way. What a politician. Fantastic. Does he play? Cut the tension with a knife. Peko Banyaya called the student to start scoring podiums in the sprint races this year. And that was last week in Barcelona. Laps of marvellous Magello here in the Italian lights come out and we are underway. A good start from Ole Martin, but better from Bant the front. What a start from Banyaya down towards turn one. And he leads one of the Kate, who looks like he's got up into second place. Martin third. So cl close through there, but Binder from 13 yet again on that cage. On that cage, Emmy, just that is that first 10 yards. Martin, oh, it's a brave one into a Rabiata and Bastinini late. Brave, but Martin knows he needs to get oh. Marquez from a long way. But had a decent enough start uh, from six on the green. He's had Binder, whose pace actually isn't that bad, but here comes. Mark Marquez oh. under the oh, across the chevrons down towards the first oh. big loser off the start was Alex Rin started 10th. It's been a great week up front. We've got Banyaya leading by half a second now for out of Arabiata and down into Scarferia. We've gone down, uh, they were to, yeah, I think it is. Yeah, it's quite an easy the moving to the factory team confirmed in a press release earlier today. Down into turn one, and Ea Bastianini does the breaking on my back. Oh, oh he's down, he's down, and that. Yeah, it's a racing incident straight away. Just look on wide, you're always going to try and cut underneath him. Reality is now, with the modern riding, Martin's gone for the gap, but his body's there. Again, wide because of that. It's difficult you to set a pass up here. It doesn't Bastianini Martin moment. Um, they'll get other angles. Yes, go around, and he's now right on the rear of Martin. Yeah, definitely where Marquez didn't have the pace. Because he has been faster than Jorge Martin in front of him throughout the weekend. Actually, see vacated by this goal, but he's run wide by that attack from Bastianini. This is where Binder's starting to just suffer a little bit. Where Slipstream is going to go past here, definitely. Wait. Just where they both go wide. No. Kez chose the left-hand side, though, going down to turn one. He was always going to be in Because then you're on the outside, so the right gives Banyaya a couple of tenths of a second. You already had that. Banata. There's a Rabiata too. Up over a crest here and dropping down into this corner. And you always feel like someone's pushing you from behind. It's down here with all the wings in fourth gear. 120 we go. No further action. Martin and Bastianini. I think makes against yeah, there. Yeah, he's got it right. He's gone to the inside. Yeah, he controls the he controls the corner now from the inside. If he goes wide, pretty much gone. Five and a half to go in the sprint race this yeah. year. So he will be taking that's all good. The clown stewards, uh, as referred to here. <laughs> I'll suddenly have Freddie Spencer knocking on the outside of this one. Uh, here tomorrow, it's going to be one getting. Having been the king of the sprints, and often it's come from his course a bit more. It's like the roles are reversed. Yeah, it really is. Well, you basically you, you analyze your season, and you know, that is what we saw with Banyaya this so far this weekend. He does look like he's got a couple of across the finish line, so that means I can't battle. Yeah, look, he's in into the first corner. Well, that was always one of the strength. The championship leader has crashed out of third place, has blinked. Just in third place there, look at that. Push it right. Another twist. Another twist in this championship. I was under pressure, really was under pressure. His team, you know, he just brings it home to take that second place. But on profit, they will be eating into all a sector alone. I think it might be more Banya taking places like turn one. That Marquez is going to make a race of this one yet. A Pedro Acosta is on. So high 45s on that lap. It's a 46.5 miles. That's, a, that's going to be at least another point two of a second. Can he ease the pain somewhat? You know why, don't you?
because of that left hand last corner. Do you remember your time into here? Here we go then, let's have a look. Here comes Mark Marquez oh. now. And it's, what's he doing different? He said, Neil, push him. And it, Frankie Koch and his crew chief said, I have never seen any lap. But he's recovered back to a low. To me, is distance isn't quite there for Pekka. And let's not forget last lap. And that'll be in his mind now. Dog takes another tenth out of Pekka's lead. Yeah, too deep there in Scarperia. And, and do you know what? It, it, it might, there's a lap and a bit to go. You've, you've got to think second place will do. It's where Mark Marquez in the past has made mistakes because in qualifying well. Banyaya and Martin, if things stay the same. It's his favourite track, it's a track he does a lot of training. Three years ago, yeah. it was through the second part, it was a heat day, and uh, put it all in his armour as he came past the hillside. Banyaya to take his first sprint race, Beans lead with the Spaniard having been. He's losing out today, the big winner. It's to the green on the outside of the racetrack. Dutch it, and Banyaya wins at home in Costa, takes yet another to the year on the Gasca. More Bidelli is for Vinales fifth, Binder sixth, Gian Antonio seventh. Comes out the points in ninth place. Mark Marquez race from.